Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, fixing to do a little trap wax in here. I'm a little late and running out of daylight, also. Working man. I do with what I can. Uh, like I said, I'm running a little late. Uh, trapping season actually come in this Monday. In between hunting and everything else going on, I just ain't had time to get everything ready which i usually don't like to start actually getting serious about trapping until after rifle season anyway let everybody clear out and got the woods to yourself but uh i've got my water heating up it's just a cut off half cut off 55 gallon barrel i put it up on two cinder blocks and build a fire under it if you can see i've got a Two pieces of tin on there, just old timers used to do that to keep the heat in. I learned that at hog killings, you know, heating the water up. But uh, we'll get this rolling and get some traps waxed. Also, I forgot to mention the, the trap die that I use is this logwood trap die. It says on it to uh, one package of dye, one to two dozen large traps, or two to three dozen smaller traps. Now I've already cleaned my traps for a season in vinegar water and kind of just redone them and pressure washed them and went through them. I saved a few to show you what I usually have to do for really used traps from last season, like the J hooks is stretched out and a couple of trap tags are gone. And I'll show y'all what I do with that. But this right here, I usually, it says to let trap simmer in hot water just below the boiling point for approximately one hour. And I ain't sure exactly. I bought this at one of the trapping sites, maybe Hoosier. I'm not sure. But this barrel holds about, I don't know, maybe 15 gallon of water. And I usually put two of these in it. And every one of my traps come out phenomenal. They're jet black and ready to go and ready to wax. As you can see right now, the water is just now starting to get hot. It's starting to steam. And I'm running out of daylight. So, I'll wax a few traps here tonight. And then I'll show you all the rest of them tomorrow in the daylight so I can show you how I do it. Alright guys, hit the... Uh got dark on me waxing traps and dyeing them but uh i got probably two dozen done probably still like that many more uh but i was going to show you i mentioned earlier about the uh just going over the traps about how <clears throat> now i have not waxed or dyed this one yet i've just cleaned it let it rust some uh this is a duke square jaw number two four coal you can see my other videos that i like these a lot but anyways this one right here my trap tag is just unlegible you can't read it no more i don't know if you can even see it so it needs to come off and this right here is what i was talking about whenever you catch a coyote and they pull on it see it right there how that's split and if they work at enough, how to see it, I mean, look, it's just about ready to, I could probably pull it out right here. Now, see, and you've got a loose dog with a trap on its foot, which you don't want. So, that's why I go over these, make sure that there's nothing wrong with them and they all are working up to their best performance. I got these little... They sell them the S-hook tools and the J-hook tools online. I picked this set up at a little vendor's mall for like five bucks, I think. But it's got the thing to where you can open them right there on the side, like this. You stick it in there. See how that's in there? Then you do like this. See how it opened it? All right. And now you close them. Just like it's right here. Just like 
back here, right there. And now that's back right. And that one's still good. The S hook on it is still good and welded. This is one of the Fox Hollow stakes. It ain't the fin stake, so I had to drill a hole in it. The swivels work good, and it's good on the trap. But I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna take this trap tag off. All it is, just a little hog ring. I had to go get a pair of pliers out of my basket. Couldn't do it with them pliers. But anyways, you just take it and remove that little bee hog ring. Look at it. Get it off of it. Now that one right there is trash now. Now I use this little thing, this little old tackle box. Probably had it since I was a kid, I'm not sure. But this is what I keep all my trap tags in. I carry these with me on the line in case I run across one, you know, that, uh, now you can read that one. In case I notice that they throw it off of it or anything else. I've got them in that side. I've also got some extra J hooks in this side. In case one gets stretched out. And now, you take your trap tag and your little bee hog ring. And I like to go right out from the trap couple links here's a trap one two three I'll go three bend that hog ring in and like I said go about three four links one, two, three, three links. There's your trap tag. I like to take it and I like to bend it around my chain. <clears throat> like right there and press it on kind of tight. That way it's on it. That's what you have. Just like that. And all your hooks is good. Check everything. And that one's ready to die and then wait. Okay, guys, we're back at it again. I'm going to finish the, all these traps. Uh, trying to beat the weather it's trying to start the rain so we go that's all of them all that i've got left we're gonna let this sit and uh steam up for a little while then i'm gonna take some of the wood out and let it come down you know just to a slow bowl and uh we'll let it sit for about 30 minutes 45 uh i put all them traps in there you know it cooled the water back down but it's slowly heating back up like i said so as it gets to boiling We'll pull some more of the wood out and let it cook. Okay, now guys, uh, I had to get me a microphone. It's got a little windy out here and I think it would be hard to hear. But anyways, <clears throat> now it's time for the step two in my waxing and dyeing process. It's something you usually don't see most people do. They usually do it separate. I've always done it together. I've had success out of it. I ain't saying that anybody else has success out of it or one way is better than the other. This is just how i do it now this is some old wax from 
waxing last year, I always just dip it off the top, break it up, and set it up, and uh, use it next time. And then this right here is what I use. This is the odorless trap wax. I mean, you can just get that. <clears throat> like I said before, I think I bought this at Rule King. You can order off any trap supply store. You can buy it anywhere. But now, these are, have been in there for right at 50 minutes, give or take. And I'm going to go ahead and put this wax in and let it start melting. And then, once the wax melts pretty good, I'm going to pull the traps up out of the die through the wax. The wax is going to sit right on top through the wax and then i'm gonna hang them up let them dry and they should be ready ready to go but i'm gonna put all this in and let it start uh, melting this is just all it is i just throw it in right on top of the die whenever i get done with it That's one pound block. That was probably, I don't know, maybe a half a pound. So I think I counted there's 25, 26 traps in this. Maybe a few, I, I can't remember. But I've already went through one block of this from the last round of traps. And now this is gonna go in here. So, I mean, whatever a pound of wax costs, this much will do all these traps. I don't know if you all can see that exactly, but that wax has separated completely from the dye that's sitting right on top of it. So if anybody ever worried about it, it don't actually mix. Okay, guys. Story of my life. I run out of daylight, so I'm just going to have to use the light on my phone and just videotape it. But right here, you pull it out real slow. Once all that wax melts, you can see that wax sitting on top of that dye. Pull it out really slow. And there you have a waxed and dyed trap both. Now we go hang it up. There we go. There's all the waxed and dyed traps. All pretty and black and waxed. Whenever you bring them out, you don't want to look like they have wax on them you want them just be wet looking and uh let the wax dry on them. these right here i won't touch them with my bare hands no more but these right here all has a little thin layer of wax on them and that's how i do it thank you all for watching